I know I look crazy, let me explain in a second. But first, in today's video, I am going to be sharing a review on this concealer. This is from a company called Colfi. In this color, I'm gonna tell you the color, I have to tell them right away. It's called Ice Ice Berry. Ice Ice Berry. There you go. Ice Ice Berry is the name of the color. Um, I'm in the middle of doing an eye look. You guys know how I do it. I kind of do it in steps. But I did not, oh, I have to put more eyeshadow down there. One eye doesn't, but it doesn't matter because I'm doing my concealer anyways and I, I'd mess it up. So this concealer is phenomenal. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, this is a close second to my Holy Grail. What? Yes. I'm surprised that this hasn't gone viral. Now I saw a makeup artist on TikTok share this and she was like, blown away by it and like, mm, you know, I'm picky. And I'm like, I'm gonna test it out. So we're gonna go in. I've already tested out, I love it. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you. So you guys know how I do it. I do it with my little liner brush. And one thing that you will see more from me on my channel is I am going to be doing a lot more concealer reviews because the reason that I'm going to start doing more concealer reviews is I feel like it's one thing that women really struggle with besides application is finding the right concealer that's not too dry, that doesn't crease. So I am going to be sharing a lot more concealers on my channel. I will do some foundations here and there when I see them, but I'm more interested in concealers right now, so that's what my focus is. And other things, not like all that I'm going to do, but um, just know that I will be sharing a lot more concealers on my channel. So I'm just tapping this out. Look at this already. I'm telling you guys, this is good stuff. Oh, look at a little hair. This is good stuff. So that's the other I said I'd have to fix that anyways, you know. So now I'm putting this under here. Look at how that concealed and look at now you're gonna get reflection from the light, but still look at the difference between my two eyes. Wait till I powder it. Wait until I powder it. And like I said, the nice thing about this is it does not settle on me. I want to put a tiny bit more just under, I have to be careful. Just under there, I just need a little bit get in there. Now let's powder it so we can look at the before and after. I don't know why I talked to it like that. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Charlotte Tilbury. I said this in another video that you're gonna see before after this. Don't be afraid to use powder on your eyes. I used to be like that too. I was like, I have mature eyes, I'm not gonna be powdering under my eyes. I'm not baking. I'm putting a trace amount. You, you want to use a powder. Also, if you have what I have, those tear troughs, if you have shiny reflection under your eyes, it's going to draw more attention to it. So you need to powder. Unless you, unless you don't care, but if you wanted, I'm just telling you. And just use a fine powder. Like I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury powder, which I love. And I'm bar I barely used any. Look how nice and smooth and lifted and conceal that is compared to the other side. I'm going to get you close so you can see. And then I'm going to do the other eye. Do the smile test. This stuff is phenomenal. Just take a little bit. Put it right here. Don't do that thing that I see people. I mean, do it if you want to, but I, I'm not going to. <laughs> that thing where people go, boop, boop, you're going to get way too much product, trust me. And it looks like I might have a lot, but I don't. I swear to you, I don't. You have a lot more control when you use a liner brush like that. Just an eyeliner brush. It doesn't have to be a specific brand. I don't even think they make the one that I have anymore. And this is a, this is a concealer brush that I actually got with my Sicily concealer, but you can find a small one like this. If I can find one, I will link it below for you, okay? I'm gonna get under here and I'll have to fix my eyeliner because I just wanna fix that. 
I just really, this concealer is fabulous. It's fabulous. Now again, see how it looks shine? Look at the two eyes. See what I'm saying about how the light reflects and how it looks better with matte. That's why I always like to do a little bit of powder. You want to use a really fine powder. If you don't want to use this one, if you just use this for your under eyes, it's going to last a long time, just so you know. Like, I don't remember when I bought this. It might be over a year already, I don't know. And I, I bought a backup a while ago and I haven't opened it up yet. So just know that. It's gonna last you a while if you're just using it for your eyes. I was using it for my face and I was going through it really quick and I, I just hardly ever use it for my face. Look at the difference, see how that. See how that just kind of smooths my under eyes. I love this powder, but again, if this isn't in your budget, look for one that's in your budget. I am loving this. We have so much going on around here. We have the yard people right now that are next door, and then we've had construction next door. Didn't I share that with you guys a couple years ago? Yeah, they're not done yet. They're not done. They're building like a house in their yard. I don't even know what it is. I, I don't even know what it is. I've given up, and then we have them, so. Timing is always impeccable. I have that Kofi concealer on. Look at how amazing my under eyes look. I'm gonna get closer to you guys so you can see. Smile too, smile test. This is a close second to my Holy Grail concealer. It is amazing. I don't think there's a lot of color selection right now, but somebody had said that they're gonna get more. So if Sicily is out of your budget, check this out. It's fabulous. It is so good, you guys. It really, really is. By the way, I am wearing a Pat McGrath eyeshadow that you are going to see in another video, either before or after this, you'll see it. So um, it's called Midnight, I think it's called Midnight Voyage or something like that. It's that little mini palette. That's what I'm wearing on my eyes. I'm wearing Pat McGrath lipstick and Skin Sane. All the details will be below for you, okay? But I really do, I really do like this concealer. It's a good, it's a good one. But use it the way I, I teach, I taught you. I must have teached you guys. Use it the way I taught you guys. Get a liner brush like this. Even if you have all darkness on your eyes, the less product we use, the better. But look at how amazing my eyes look. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So for some reason, I couldn't get my Holy Grail. I have this one. So there you go. If you're one of those people who are like, I can't spend it on that, it's still, Sicily's still my holy grail, but this is a, like I said, it's a close second. It's amazing. It's really, really good, you guys. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Really hope that you enjoyed this video. If there's any concealers that you want me to test out, please leave it in the comments below. If it's something that I'm interested in, and then I will, um, I will check it out. Because like I said, I am going to start testing out concealers so yeah even though I find good stuff that's what my channel's for you know that way maybe you try one that I reviewed that I liked you didn't like you know what I mean so I'm going to be testing out a lot of concealers so thank you guys so much again really appreciate you joining me and I will catch you guys all in my next one bye